Hello and welcome to another gear review with me, Anjay. Today we are looking at the Iron Man Rangemaster from Hubcap John. I've reviewed a few Rangemasters over the last year, both of them actually Hello Sailor Rangemasters. One of them's even on my pedal board. Um, so I was really excited when Hubcap John contacted me, at the same time as he contacted me about the Sundial Fuzz and said, I've got a Rangemaster, do you want to play with it? And I was like, hell yeah. And so he sent me the Iron Man. Now, it looks cool, can't deny that. Um, it is a single knob with a couple of uh, selectors for tone capacitors. Knob controls the gain, um, power supply, but he does do um, ones for battery as well. And it is made like a traditional range master with a few extra options. I think the best thing to do is to just play it and then little chat about it and you can make up your own mind whether you like it or not. Ah, and don't forget, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe. Excellent, so we're all set up. I've got the Fender Telecaster going through the Range Master into a crunchy amp. This is my neck pickup, cleanish sound. Bridge. Let's take a little bit of a roll off on the uh, volume control to get it pretty clean. Now let's put the Range Master on. I've got it set to about unity gain uh, with both the toggle switches in the middle, so it's now traditional germanium treble booster Range Master. So you can hear it really pushing that treble and high frequencies. Now let's start rolling the gain up a little bit. You can hear it starts to add a bit more kind of distortion to it. It is after all, very similar to a fuzz face um, circuit. But because it's germanium, if we roll off the volume on the guitar, you'll start to hear it clean up. even just all the way up. So you can hear it pushes and pushes and pushes. If you had a true valve amp, obviously I'm using a Katana, so if you had a true valve amp, you'll be pushing those valves and you'll be getting some real sort of nice, nice saturation that cleans up. It's pretty good on the boss to be fair. Now, what's really nice about this is the toggles. You have two toggles that switch between five different sets of capacitors uh, for different tones. Now, the top one has two and bottom one has three. So what we're going to do is we're going to start switching them on and off and finding a tone that's a little bit different. So I'm going to turn this down to about halfway. So you can hear it's on. Now I'm going to switch the top toggle up. So it 
adds a thickness to it and a bit more bass. If we go all the way down. Very similar, if anything, slightly less bassy. Now, it's worth noting that your guitar and your amp are going to really dictate the mileage you get from changing capacitors on this kind of pedal. So... Yeah, I think the bottom one's slightly less bassy. Now let's use the... Um, play around with the bottom switch. Again, it just starts adding a bit more thickness and depth. I'm going to set it to a setting that I like and then just play with the amp and the, um, the volume a little bit just so you can hear the differences it makes. I like that one. That's the Mark III version according to this. So it's just a little bit thicker than the standard uh, range master sound. Standard. Version I'm going to use. Very slightly thicker. So what we're going to do now is we're going to play with the volume control, I'm going to change the gain on the amp, we're just going to see what it sounds like. So now I'm going to put some distortion on the amp. I'm going to go to probably the brown channel and we'll see what difference this makes. Okay, so here's the kind of the more gain sound to it. Not hugely saturated, but a little bit there. The brown channel tends to work a lot more like a tube amp than some of the other ones on the guitar. So that makes it sound pretty hot. When I mean, that's full volume, all the switch is down, so you've got quite a good bit of bass on there. Bit of noise, you're adding gain, obviously.
what do you think about that? Now, as with all range masters, I absolutely love the tone. The Germanian uh, transistor just gives some kind of, it just gives warmth and kind of, it's a make better button for me. Um, as I've explained in previous videos, you know, a range master isn't just boosting treble. It boosts quite a lot of frequencies. Frequencies that maybe in isolation sound a little bit too much and a bit too much treble and mid. But actually in a mix, when you're playing with drums and bass and everything else, these things cut through like a knife through butter. Uh, the fact that you can change the uh, capacitors as well, so you can, you can get good bedroom tones, you can get good studio tones, good band tones, all with a combination of different capacitors makes it even more flexible. Um, traditionally, you'd have had to have these cranked to the max. I actually don't necessarily do that, especially with clean tone, but as you heard with a distorted tone, you know, you can really push a distorted amp into great thick saturation with these that's got a load of dynamics because it reacts so well to picking volume. Now, something to remember with these, like all germanium-based kind of fuzzes and uh, range masters, it needs to be at the front of your signal, the first thing your guitar touches. If you look at Brian May's setup, he uses a wireless guitar system, and his range master is actually sat directly on the strap, so it's the very first thing that his guitar goes into, even before the wireless pack. And it's because they respond better when they've got the direct input from the guitar, the impedance, something to do with that, just changes the way these behave which can cause a problem if you want to use it like a boost pedal uh, and you don't want to use it like a um, don't use it like a range master you don't want to use it like a tube screamer you actually want to put it after some effects to give that boost so john sent me a very useful little uh, gadget i'm not going to show you it and test it now i'm not going to test it now but i'm going to show you it and it's this it's essentially a pickup simulator it's a passive circuit with a tone and a volume control uh, that you can turn on and off independently and it basically simulates having the guitar directly in front of the pedal. So if this was last in my chain, I could put this before it and it would respond just the same way as if my guitar was in front of it, which is really, really useful, but it's something to remember. So what do you think? I love it. I love Range Masters in general, and I, I still say that uh, Hubcap John's pedals are some of the best out there on the market, especially in the boutique market at the moment. Would you have one of these? Have you got one of these? Have you got another type of range master? Let me know in the comments below because I really want to hear your stories about how you've got on with range masters and how you use them. Is it a boost like Chris Buck uses? Is it the core of your tone like a Brian May? So yeah, jump in the comments. Let me know what you uh, what you think and what you're doing with range masters. Subscribe, like, and I will see you very, very soon. Cheers, guys.